Greetings everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure having you guys here today. First of all, I'd like to thank my patrons who helped me decide on what I should teach next. So thank you guys very much. We are going to focus this week on a lighthouse painting. So I'll do like a beautiful sunset painting with a, a lighthouse there. And I'm excited because I actually, I don't think I've ever painted a lighthouse. So this will be something new to me as well. Before we get started, I'd like to do a giveaway to my awesome patrons because they have been supportive and have encouraged me up until this point. So thank you guys. And I have a basket full of names here, uh, these wonderful names. And the winner will get to choose a prize off of a list from my Patreon page. So the winner is right here, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for your support. You get to choose what you'd like on my Patreon page. And thank you again for your support. If you'd like to join Color by Felix community, please check out the link up here. All right, guys, let's get to it and let's go over the materials we need for today. For brushes, we need this blending brush set, artist loft brushes, a half an inch flat brush, and double zero round detail brush. And as we go on painting, I will show you exactly what brush I'm using. Now for paints, I like to use heavy golden acrylics and we need titanium white, carbon black, ultramarine blue, and something different. I'm going to try using a bit of, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, doxazony purple, I believe. So we're going to test that one out today. And then naphtha red light, and last but not least, cadmium yellow medium. Of course, we need a palette, and we need a palette knife to mix our paints. We need some paper towels to clean our brushes when we're not using them. We need a jar of water when you're not using your brush. Uh, acrylic dries fast, so in order to avoid the brush dry and you just put it in the water jar. And I believe that should be it. Oh, also, um, I like to use this hair blow dryer because I like my first layers to dry fast so that I can continue adding more layers and, um, and not smear when I add layers. I don't like smearing the back layer and that tends to happen if you don't let it dry out. And so, I like to use this hair blow dryer. So all these materials you saw here, I'm gonna put on my Amazon shop. So be sure to check that out, the link is right here. Okay, let's mix some paint. Okay, this is what I have right here. I've got yellow and a little bit of white, pretty much the same amount of yellow and white, and a touch of red for my second color. And then a little more red a little more white, a touch of yellow, and ultramarine blue, a touch of ultramarine blue. And then I've got ultramarine blue, white, and a touch of red here, and then this purple, this new color. Um, I'm sorry, my pronunciation is still, I need to work on that, but dioxazony, doxazony, I'm gonna have a hard time with this. But anyway, this purple color and white. So I'm gonna start mixing my first shade. This will be the lightest shade, and then it's gonna transition into this purple. Let's start mixing. This one's gonna be bright yellow color. Nothing to it. We're gonna make a sunset first, or uh, start with the darkest, I mean, uh, the furthest point in our um, image here and which is the sky and then we're gonna work our way up close so then let's mix our second color i like to first mix my colors uh, and see if i need to add more you know color white or whatever color i need um, to get 
closest to the shades I want on my canvas because they change uh, after you put the color here and start to blend the colors kind of change so um, it happens naturally like that so I wouldn't spend too much time trying to get exactly the same shadings that I have here if yours is a little lighter or darker that's totally fine So this is orange right here. I might add a little, a little bit of white here. I want it to be a little lighter. So I'm gonna add a little more white right here. Mix that in. So it wouldn't be like a dramatic change from bright yellow into orange. I want a, a little bit of a smoother transition and white helps it do that well. Okay, so for our third shade here, I'm gonna mix that, see what color it gives me. Right there, this light pinkish color. has a touch of blue in it, as you could see. And then our fourth color, see they're uh, nice sunset colors right here and our last color this weird purple color I think what I'm gonna do is add a little more white here it's pretty dramatic the color change there so I'm gonna add a little bit of white in here so it won't be too much just a touch of white but you want, you just want a, um, whatever, you know, shading of color you decide to mix, you want to make sure that the changes between the, uh, the coloring are not dramatic, you know, changes. So if you see that it's way too dark, um, it's going to be hard to blend it, blend these colors in together. So the, so you want it to be, um, you want to add lighter, um, or even darker if uh, you have to, to make sure the change when you bl start to blend, it'll be easier. So that's why um, first I mix my, you know, paints, and then I kind of get an idea, and then from there I do the blending onto my canvas. So here it is, we got our shades. Let's see what happens when we start to put the color on the canvas. This is also a 16 by 20 inch canvas. The amount of paint you put on your palette depends on the size of the canvas. So this is the amount I put on uh, my palette right here. Um, to I'm just guessing how much it'll take for me to cover a certain amount. Um, so just, you know, judge, judge yourself. Okay guys, so get a fluffy brush, dab it in halfway, you know, squeeze it out. And then we are ready to grab some paint. And we're gonna grab the lightest color right here. And we're gonna just cover our bottom area. So right in here like this. Just grab everything. And I'll dab my brush lightly in the water to just on the tip and grab my second color so it can run smoothly. I've had people asking me, do I spray my uh, canvas? Uh, so the, the canvas I buy is already pre-gessoed. I uh, buy them usually at Michael's, um, but they're already gessoed and, and I don't spray my canvases with water or anything like that. I just uh, dab my brush and 
Um, try to work fast so it won't dry fa um, when I blend. So um, usually at this space, how I'm working right now. So I'm dabbing my brush lightly in the tip and then grabbing my third color and just put it across like this. You know, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put this pink here, um, a little more here because the sunset it's gonna be right here on the left side. Okay, and then let's grab our, let's cover this. Let's grab our fourth color right here. Put it like that. Just grab everything. Dab my brush in the water. And grab our final color, this funny purple color. Okay. Just cover the canvas first. Don't worry about blending yet. go and I'm gonna clean my brush out and I have two of these fluffy brushes to save time but usually I would go over the sink or I just kind of dab it like this lightly in, in my water jar and uh, squeeze it out and then use paper towels to dry out my um, my brush just dry it out and it's still damp so um, so in order to save time I have two of these I'm gonna you know make this brush a little damp, pretend like I did that process, and dry it out so it can be a little damp. And then here, I start blending. And here, I just use a circular motion and lightly pressing, bringing the paint word upwards. So I'm just lightly pressing You don't want to press too much. So just blend in the colors. Work from going from the bottom upwards and don't worry about like blending everything nicely the first round we're gonna do that the second round first round you just you do your first round of blending bring the paint upwards and then second round we're gonna go from up to bottom and I'll show you what I mean by that. There you go. So now I'm going to go to the other side. And now I'm going to bring the purple color and just lightly bring it down. Lightly, not everywhere, just lightly. I'm pressing lightly and bring this color down
I'm going to clean my brush and do the same process from the bottom going upwards. Here you have it. I clean my brush and I use the paper towel. I'm going to dry it out, swirl it lightly, make a damp right there. And then from here, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way upwards again. And I'm gonna kind of blend in because I, I like the I, I like the you know the the lines like it naturally makes its own clouds. I kind of like that. So some areas I'm gonna leave it. Um, maybe the bottom here. I'll leave it like this. But then when I go up, so I'm gonna blend a little bit more. There's different ways of blending. Lightly pressing, not hard, just slightly. So now I'm gonna grab my hair blow dryer and dry my first layer. Okay, so now let's add some white clouds, a few of them. I'm gonna grab my knife and clean it out. And I just grabbed titanium white, and then I'm gonna grab the left over here, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this orange that we have, just a little bit, because I still want it to be white. So I'm gonna mix that. Uh, like, I don't want it to be pure white, because then it'll, uh, it just, it'll stand out way too much. So, I'm just gonna mix that. And then, we're gonna grab our, Uh, half an inch artist loft brush and dab it in the water make sure it's nice and damp and I'm gonna grab my first color right here I mean this white color and I'm gonna go ahead and add a few clouds right here you can barely see it against the yellow, but as you go up, we'll start to notice it. So I'm gonna carry it upwards like this. I want to make a nice, um, unique cloud. So I'm gonna just carry it upwards. I'm gonna create some space, dab my brush in the water so it can work transparent. Um, so I'm gonna Maybe start to go up here, lightly pressing. Your clouds could be a little different than mine. So I'm gonna go up about like right there. I'm gonna make this very, very like unique type of cloud, okay? So I'm working transparent with water. like a streaky type of cloud, okay? That's what we're aiming for. So I'm gonna grab a little more and some areas will have a little thicker. But over here, I'm gonna start to Take it out and let it go out like this. Just a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay?
your way down like this. And if you added a little too much, what I would like to do is I just clean my brush out in my water jar, dry it out, and it's just wet. And I just blend it in so it won't stand out too much. Actually, what works also great is this inch brush, artist lock brush. I uh, dab it in the water halfway, squeeze it out, and just uh, you know blend this in so it could be smooth. Because I want that yellow, and I still want the background layer to show so it could be smooth. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing here, I'm making it smooth. Just with water and any really any uh, inch brush flat brush should do so we'll continue so I'm gonna grab more and maybe add some right here I'm kind of going up like this Same thing, dab my inch brush, squeeze it out, and work transparent and carry that. Just fade it out. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little more. Add some maybe right here. And kind of going this way like this. How about that? Just slightly. Same thing. Doesn't have to be perfect. creating a light little uh, transparent shade. And when you add water, it's almost like working with like watercolors. You just add water, maybe create some clouds going up. And it'll naturally create its own clouds, as you could see. Maybe clean it out here a little. And here, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab a little more actually. Let's finish this out and create a white cloud going in like this. Just a little darker and then fading out lightly like that. I like that right there. You want some, some of those interesting bright ones in there as well. So you can look interesting. You know, have fun. Add, add the clouds where you want them to be. So 
some could be a little darker, some could be a little lighter. Make this a little more darker here and and a few more here. See, I'm trying to make this beautiful wave here out in the sky. Don't really have a plan seeing where it takes me. And you see this blue that I have left over? I'm gonna grab it and add a little bit of white to it. Just a little bit of white makes this color. Just make it lighter blue. And if you used all your paint, just add a little bit of ultramarine blue and, and white. Now, we're gonna grab this color and add it on top right here, this light blue color. In fact, I'm gonna actually grab a little more. I want it to be a little darker blue, so. And if you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, so I actually want a little darker, so I'm grabbing this purple too. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just a little darker than your background. I mean, lighter. Just a little lighter than your background. Right there. And add this color. brush, dab it in the water, and maybe grab it just a little bit on my brush. You see how my brush is wet? Just so I can have this color a little. And I'm gonna do the same thing and blend this blue color, this color that we have here, in with my background. And just smooth it out. So I'm going to grab a little more of this color and do the same thing here. Just work transparent with water. Don't add too much paint. You want that background colors to stand out as well. So once it dries, you will see a few, a few of these, um, just a few, uh, like a light transparent layer. That's why I like um, working with um, light when adding more details. Because if the painting was still wet, you wouldn't be able to add more layers like this with water because you would smear that background paint. And that's why I like to dry my paint first. Sorry guys, I had to close the blinds because the sun was hitting my painting here and it was hard to see for you guys. Hopefully this is better. 
as you can see, it's starting to dry, and you can see this blue, like this smooth blue right here, because we mixed it with water, and it's not that like, you know, like you don't you you could see it, but it's not that strong. That's what we want. So if you want to mess around and you know add whatever amount of um, paint you want, uh, clouds you want. Uh, you can spend some time doing that. I'm gonna add a little bit of more of this color right here. And I'm gonna add it in a, on the bottom right here. Grab this light blue. And add it lightly right here. I want some of that pink showing behind. So I'm gonna make sure I don't cover my everything because I really like that pink. Just on some of the areas here. Adding some blue here on this corner. And want this to stand out a little more so that focus won't be just on this area. So it could be nicely balanced. it out, squeeze the water out, and then, you know, follow the pattern. And lightly press. Maybe bring it down some of the blue onto this lighter color here. So it could be a nice transition. There you go. I'm gonna add a few more. I think I'm gonna
you go. Do the same thing and just follow. And for the final touches on the sky, I grabbed a little bit of red, white, and yellow. And I'm gonna grab not, ev not everything right here, just a little bit of, of uh, the yellow here. And mix that. So I want it to be like pinkish, like peachy color, right there. And I'm gonna grab my same brush I've been using this one, half an inch artist loft brush, and I'm gonna, we're transparent so my brush is damp, grab a little bit of this paint and underneath here, just underneath, I'm gonna add this darker peachy color right here. Just follow along where your clouds are and fade it out. I'm gonna have it fade out right in here. So I'm gonna grab a lip, dab my brush in the water again and work transparent and just follow this. And fade it out. So, land that in nicely. But that just makes that cloud really pop out. That's, that's why I wanna do that. I could be happy with my clouds and leave it the way they are, but adding this peachy color as a highlight really brings out some of these clouds so just on some of the areas underneath um, add this beautiful color right here we're transparent don't don't overdo it right there my brush out and clean it and just work with water and just carry some of this paint onto upwards I mean so it can blend nicely right there so I'm gonna grab that and do the same on some of these areas up here maybe right here It just makes these clouds pop out. I'm gonna add it right here too. actually even bring it out here 
Make a little line going up like that. And of course, as you go up, you want to um, add darker, uh, darker shadings. And I'll, we'll add some of those here. But right there. See, lightly I'm pressing. And fading out to this blue color right here. brush out and lightly add some in here just with water there you go okay so now as we go up we want a darker color so we're just going to use this um, dark purple that we have and I'm gonna work transparent so I'm gonna make sure my brush is pretty wet right here and add some purple and fade it out so just on some areas create that shadow. So remember this part? So add it underneath right here. It just makes it more, your sky makes it more um, dramatic. So right here, I'm gonna clean my brush because I don't want too much of that color. I just want a light transparent color. So. I'm gonna clean my brush, dry it out, and um, just with water, blend that in. And what I could do is grab my inch brush and carry that out like this. Right there. Same stuff right in here. And just fade it out. And do the same thing here. Doesn't have to be perfect, just on the edge here. have to use this brush go ahead and do so and just follow your pattern like that and then blend 
blend everything in nicely. And for the final area, I'll add some red in here, this purple color. and fade it out, like here, right there. Like that. There you go. And land that in. There you go, our sky is done. We can move on to the next part. All right, so now we're gonna continue. And what I've got here, I've got blue, white, and a little bit of black. I'm gonna mix that, grab not all black, because black is strong. So mix that, and it's gonna give me like a grayish blue color right here. I'm gonna actually add some yellow to it because the light is so bright there. So I'm gonna grab some yellow. Just a little bit. We don't wanna make it too green. We, won't, we want it on a gray side. So, so about right there, maybe a little more black, just a little bit. Right there, that's good enough. So this color, we're gonna grab our Same brush, let's just use the same brush right here. It's pretty flat. You can use your uh, half an inch brush right here, but I'm going to use this brush. So I'm gonna grab it and whatever you're comfortable with, grab this color and let's draw a horizon line. Let's just draw it maybe right about here. Just eyeballing it, right about there. Okay, right about there. Maybe draw a little mountain right there in the back. Maybe another one right there, like this. Okay, right there. And now, and now we're gonna draw, let's draw, add the water first before we add anything else. So, so before I add water, I'm gonna grab this masking tape. I forgot about, uh, this little thing. You don't have to do this. Sometimes I just kind of paint stri uh, straight as I can, but I'm just gonna use it today. Sometimes I use masking tape, it helps. So obviously I wait until this is dry and I'm not gonna go all the way because I'm gonna draw like a little cliff here and some rocks here where the my um, you know lighthouse will be. So I'm just gonna, I just want this part to be pretty straight, so. I'm gonna go about, let's say about, right about here, okay? So I'm gonna tape that and then, then I'm gonna start mixing my colors. So this is what I got here. I've got white, yellow, and a little bit of red. I'm gonna cre clean out my palette knife real quick. So, right here. White, yellow, and a little bit of red. I'm gonna mix that. We're gonna make our water be 
very interesting actually like very like almost foggy look to it so we're not gonna add any too much I don't think we're gonna add ripples we're gonna make it look very um, like foggy looking like a fog just went into our uh, water here in the morning or in the evening so our second color white yellow a little bit of blue and red yeah, I added more red here and a touch of blue I don't I did I barely added blue so I wanted more pink pink color like this there you go and then our third color here is blue white and a touch of red here and I might need more of this color actually because we're gonna cover pretty much the whole thing so I need more paint so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add more blue and white here so right here I want it to be a light blue color that's good enough but it has a little bit of red in it so you could see almost purplish and then here I have white more red and a touch of blue so that this color is gonna be very beautiful in our water and then I'll mix one more shade and we'll be ready to add it water All right, so I have this blue color, ultramarine blue, a little bit of white, and this purple color. So we're gonna mix that. And that should be our final color for the water. For our base, this will be our base. Okay, I know it's a little messy, I'm sorry about that. that you know, I don't have a lot of palettes where I can switch off. But if, you know, as long as you get similar shades, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, okay? So now what we're going to do is grab our uh, mop brush. And dab it in the water, make sure it's wet. We're gonna start off with this peachy color. I'm gonna add it right in here. Just cover everything. Make sure your brush is a little wet, so dab it in the water. This peachy color. All this is going to be covered, so don't worry about this part. So after we added our peachy color, we're going to go ahead and add our second color, this light darker. Okay, and then I'm going to grab our light blue color here and add it on this side. this blue on this side just add it randomly all right then and then we're gonna add our pink color right here. This darker color. Just mix it in here. Okay. And then we're gonna add our final color, which will be 
this darker blue shade right here. And we're gonna mix that in with this pink color here. And don't worry about blending it too much yet. So carry this color kind of like this. All right. And now I'm gonna clean my brush. And then and then dry it out. And this part is not gonna take as long as the sky. So we're just gonna blend this part like this back and forth. Just back and forth. Lightly, don't press too hard. There you go. And now we're gonna dry it out with the hair blow dryer. Okay, so now you can take off the tape lightly. So the next thing we're gonna do is add some hills and rocks and things like that. So what I've got here is black and red and a little bit of white. So I'm gonna grab some white right here and mix this. It's gonna be pretty dark. Right there, that will be our darkest. We'll start with that. And then we're gonna create one more shade, a lighter shade for the rocks, just to have a variety. Okay, so I have black, red, white, and yellow here. And I'm gonna mix that. I'm gonna add a little bit of more white actually, so it wouldn't be too dark. So I'm gonna add some white. Right there. Make it a little lighter. Right there, that's good enough. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is grab my artist loft brush, half an inch, and I'm gonna start with this darker, darker one here. Maybe mix it in, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just I'm gonna add a few rocks here. As you go up, we're going to add a bigger rock here. This is where, and I'm probably going to end it right about here. So I'm going to go in like this and fade it out like that. Okay, so this is all going to be covered. So, I'm going to have a rock kind of bent here. And we're going to create highlights later. Right now we're just drawing the shapes of our rocks. Doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe this goes up to here. So 
just cover it first. Add your first layer. And then this will go up a little higher. And this is where we're going to have our lighthouse on. here and this is actually I'm going to change my brush into a half an inch brush dab it in the water just because that artist love brush leaves the brush strokes here and I kind of want it opaque um, flat um, covering and this softer brush flat brush covers the canvas nicely so you won't see the so it won't be see-through. So that's why I changed it. Right there. And then I'm gonna continue going upwards. So then here. Out. About right up to here, like this. Just cover it. This is your base, so don't worry about adding details yet. And maybe add a few more little rocks here. So now, before we add more details while this is drying, I'm going to add some rocks. And I'm going to add a few little rocks here. And then maybe a bigger one here, kind of peeking out. This is the fun part, because we're going to add a bunch of these rocks. Some small, some bigger. So we're just adding our base. As you can see, this brush is rough and it's very transparent. So that's why um, sometimes other brushes are better to use.
So I'm going to switch to a half an inch flat brush and continue on adding my rocks. And then our next one, well, I'm probably going to add it right in here. Switch to the Artist Love brush again and just blend the bottom part just with water. Just slightly blend some, some of these rocks. Okay, so now we're going to continue adding some highlights right in here, just with water and this lighter gray color, how about that? Just really quickly, it doesn't have to be perfect yet. Just with water. I don't know why I said it in in an accent. Water. Right there. Just creating some shades. Things I might see in the water. Working very transparent as you could see. Clean up my brush a little more, maybe grab some of the white so it won't be too dark. And 
And as I get further, lighter highlights, make sure you clean out your palette knife so that you won't bring any darks in to your lights. So I'm going to do the same thing, same colors, yellow, um, a little bit of red. So I'm going to mix that. Right there. So it could be like, see the difference? That's what I want. Clean my brush, and it's not perfectly mixed. That's totally fine. Just on one side of the rock. Right. See how that makes it stand out more? And sometimes, you know, the detail brush would work better on some areas, try to get, you know, use, use the detail brush if you have to. I'm just like, first I'm using this brush to sketch it out first. This is going to be our sketch. And then we're going to go back and add more details. So this I'm gonna grab more red. I didn't mix all the red. I want I want this to be a little more pink. Some rocks to be. Right there. And I'm just creating some highlights here. Not just on one angle, you know, I'm gonna create a few more little ones along the way. And if you don't like something, you can always dab a finger in your uh, paper towel and just uh, clean it out a bit. There's no right or wrong. You can add as many rocks as you want. So 
so you could see. And our last one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is blend everything in, clean out my brush just with water. I'm going to start and my brush I won't have any paint and with water it will have you know a few like a little bit of paint on it obviously but it's work transparent and just try to blend so it won't be so rough Maybe some of these could be rough up close if you want, but all right. So now I'm gonna grab some white and a little bit of red and have this be light pink color. You can carry some of this leftover orange, so um, but. We want it pink color right here. There you go. And use the same brush. And grab some of this pink color. And create a few extra highlights on your rocks. work transparent. See, I'm randomly adding, because rocks are always, they have their own shapes. So I'm not spending too much time on trying to get perfect details. Just randomly adding. And now what I'm gonna do is grab this pink color, continue working with it, and right underneath these, we're gonna just create highlights with this pink. even going over a little bit of these rocks. Okay. Just 
doesn't have to be perfect. Just underneath some of these lines. This kind of acts like a fog when you add a few highlights here. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just work transparent with a little bit of water and this pink. And don't worry about overlapping some of these rocks because we're going to go over in more detail. And you can always touch it up later. Okay, so now second shade is ultramarine blue and white. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of ultramarine blue. I want it to be light blue. And about right there. Maybe a little more. That's good right there. I'm gonna clean my brush out, use the same brush. And we're gonna add this on some of this area right here. So this blue is going to come out from behind right there. Hard a sloth brush and blend this in this way. And continue on with this blue. out with an inch brush lightly just slightly blend it all in okay when 
moving on, adding the same color. Here I'm kind of carrying that misty blue to my rocks, as you could see. Some areas can be a little more darker, some brighter. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some white. I have white here and a little bit of red and a touch of yellow, just a lighter color, orange, or with a little bit of pink. We're gonna add a few of them here. brush so it could be smooth right there and continue adding some here just with water. There you go. You blend that in nicely, lightly. So I'm gonna add this color onto my rocks again here. See, it's a little brighter, I mean lighter, just on some areas.
All right, so now I'm gonna grab my number two brush, artist love brush and work transparent. So grab this blue here and I'm gonna create some foggy, um, foggy look to my um, water. But just around these rocks, some of them, just carry the light paint upwards. And if you add it too much, you can always erase it with a paper towel. If you don't like a part you did, just paper towel and water and just wipe it off. Shouldn't be a problem. And you can bring this here upwards like this. Cover a bit of the mountain. You just want to make it look foggy. So lightly, don't add too much water on your brush. I always, if I add too much, I just dab it um, onto my paper towel and it dries it out a little bit. Just enough so where you can, you're able to carry the, the paint. Over, right there. Now let's work on some details of these Okay, so now we're gonna grab white, yellow, and red. We're gonna mix those. And we're gonna add this to our, this is gonna be orange color. Gonna add that to our mountains. So we're gonna grab the artist soft brush, half an inch, clean it out. Grab some of this, and then we're gonna create some highlights here on this edge. Kind of what we did with the, how we added uh, highlights on the rocks. This way we're gonna go down. Right about there, and then here, not everywhere, let it be a bit dark. So lightly, I'm gonna draw a little hill here, maybe coming down here. Maybe about right there. Okay. Okay, and we'll continue. Yours could be a little different than mine. Just lightly, work transparent. I'm gonna bring it down right here. Next.
Okay, so now I'm going to blend that in. Clean out my brush and work transparent. And blend these colors in. Clean out my brush. And just blend them in. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Right there. And about there. And you can grab your detail brush. And I have here white and yellow. You can grab a little bit of this orange, but um, right there. And dab it in the water with a detail brush. You know, outline some of these, oops, some of these edges right here. Maybe start from here lightly. And clean it out. Those little rocks behind over there, right there. And then start adding the highlights here. Just on the edge mainly, because that's where the light hits. I use my finger to wipe it to you know wipe it off so it could blend nicely. Right there. Moving on to the next corner, and I'm not touching this side because this is where the light hits and it feeds in right here. In order to have this pop out, I want that to happen there. Once we get the details of our hill, we can add our lighthouse, which will be fun. Shouldn't take that long. Same thing here. I'm not going to add too much. Just have fun, you can have your own little hills wherever you want them. Wherever you add the highlights, this lighter color, that's where the hill will appear. I'm dabbing my brush in the water and working transparent. I know what's going on over there, but right about there, and then a few more here. Just little lines coming down. Maybe you can have some going like this. There you go. 
I think I'll call it good right there for the hill. Now we're gonna put a lighthouse right about here. All right, lighthouse. Let's just use black and white for now and draw our first layers. So we're gonna have it right about here, right about here. And then we're gonna bring it up and up into the sky about, I would say about right in here. I want it pretty big, right about there. And same thing on this side. Right about right there. Okay. And then we're gonna draw a little, and I'm just using water and black outlining first and then we're gonna draw a little thingy here then about right there Okay, and we, we, we can fix it up later. So, just water and black. We're gonna add a little house here. Attached in the background. And then another one, a little bigger, right about there. Bring it out up to here. So just use the black and water for now. And then we're gonna draw a little house here. Yes, I know, I'm not gonna make it just the lighthouse. Oh, I like to add more than one thing. And this house is going to be about this high. I'm going to erase it actually. Make it a little shorter right there. And have this. the tip of the house. This, and then we bring it down right in here. Okay. And I'm going to cover this with black. We're transparent. Just like that. And now I'm gonna grab some white and add it right in here. Just cover it nicely. Like that. And add some white in the back here as well. On these houses. I'm gonna mix it with black to make it a little bit darker. Make it gray. And then I'm going to add 
this white here. And a little bit of black. Make it a little gray. Make this area here a little bit. lighter make another this is the entrance right in here there and I'm gonna grab some black and add it on this side Right about there. So now I'm gonna grab some of my red and white, mix it with white, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want this to be a little pink. Right about there. Add a little more white here. And I want the same thing on in on my house. So just the red. And this pink layer right there. And now let's grab our detail brush. I'm gonna clean out this black a little, so I'm gonna grab a touch of white so that it won't be too dark. I don't want it to be pure black. Let's just make it super dark gray. There you go. So I'm gonna dab my detail brush in the water, grab this color, and lightly add some details. Just work wet. So I'm going to clean this out a little with just white, just a little, I don't, I don't want, so grab white, I don't want um, this black line to be showing too much.
and back to my black. And then here, right about right here, I'm gonna draw a line going across. And then here we have a little window or something. quick. And then this part, you can add a little bit of a darker color. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some black and just add transparent black with water, just here on the bottom, right here, so that it can stand out more. It'll look more like it's circular when we do that. Just with water and black. some black here. Just transparent right there. And then continue adding the outlining to make sure maybe there's a little chimney here. And some doors. And they could be very dark. Let's see. Keep adding. This is the part where I can speed up the process, but I just want you guys to see what I'm doing with these um, because that's how I really draw my paintings. I first sketch it out like this and then go over and detail and just back and forth, back and forth, outline, make my edges straighter and all that. But first I kind of uh, place, pla uh, place my, uh, you know, shadows and all that. And then I go over. Don't worry about making it too perfect. Here I'm gonna draw a little window here and then this lightly draw. I'm just using black and water, working transparent. Maybe there's a window here and a window right above. 
spot here. another window here there and get a line there putting it up a bit with the finger so it won't be too sharp. And add a few more windows. Add a chimney here and then I'm going to clean my brush and grab my white and a little bit of this yellow mix it in and add some color to my windows just yellow and white And here, I'm going to grab yellow and add a little light here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to clean my brush now and grab a little bit of red. And with water and red. So I'm gonna clean my brush, I'm not gonna to grab too much. Just work transparent around the edges here. The red makes it look warm. So just blend it out around with water and then clean out your brush and use yellow and add it right in the middle. Also fade it out and this is where you will just add pure white. Just dab your brush pure white and add a little dot right in the middle. And then clean out your brush and around the edges slightly press and blend that color right here. And it creates a beautiful glowy effect as you could see. And I'm gonna continue adding more details here. I'm gonna add another little house that is going to be attached in the back, back right there. So,
out and you can add as many buildings as you want. Anywhere you want, maybe add a few more here if you'd like, just as much as you want. Why not, right? Why not add one more here? A little one far behind. And just add white. Right there. And go back to the black. Add a little chimney there. Maybe a door. Something going on there. Blend it out and you've got yourself another house. I wish it was that easy to build a house. Okay. Now, let's continue adding a few more details. So now we're gonna go back to our white color and grab a little bit of yellow and mix it in. So yellow and white, doesn't have to be perfect, just yellow and white. And along the edges here, we're gonna add a very bright highlight here from the sun. Lightly adding this highlight here. This, these little details will make your paintings pop out. Right there. Continue down. And you can fade it out with your finger. So, dab it in the water. That is good enough on the lighthouse. Maybe add a few more here. And then continue and add around the windows. And this is where you can spend as much time as you want on your own. This is where you can have fun with it. And final touches with just white and a little bit of yellow, working transparent, we're gonna just pull out some of this light out like this.
just transparent. You will bar barely see that, but it's nice to have. Just flake it out, clean it out, it's a little too messy, and do the same process until you see those lights start to show up. And I think that after that we should be good. I'm going to try to add a little bit of more right there. There you go. down here and I'm going to carry it out with okay just to make sure it's straight right about there all right, guys, you can spend as much time as you want in adding all these awesome details, but this is here a sketch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this was helpful. Please let me know down below what you thought and um, I will try to improve as a teacher here on YouTube. And I hope you enjoy this and take care and God bless. Stay tuned for next week's tutorial.